All right, uh, this is a script showcase um, showcasing script files. You combine the benefits of custom NPCs with some of the cool animations and behaviors of modded mobs. So I'll get to these two in a second. Let me just show you the mobs we've been using as an example today. First, the uh, Foliath from Mousy's Mobs. So it's a really cool mob. It's got his custom animations here. Uh, let's just get rid of it quick, okay? And the second one is the uh, Osir Mist from Fishes from Dead Rise. Okay. So the uh, commonality is they have behaviors that you can't emulate with custom NPCs. So, um, this is the um, attempt to replicate them using an NPC by just giving the NPC its model, as you can see here. Um, and what you end up with is something like this. They just slide up the ground and they hit you. You can't really um, do any of their cool behaviors or attack animations or things like that. See, the Philanth is the worst offender. He just slides at you. Um, but with the script I made, you can't have both. So say you want to have, you know, uh, your custom mob like this, but you wanted to have it, um, say, a custom respawn time like you can with an NPC, or a custom drops like you can with an NPC. But as you can see, this guy, he has no drops. Um, with the script here, and these are the uh, scripted versions, um, you can do that. So there's the mob. Um, There we go, okay. Um, I spawned him with the crystal, so it took me a second to target him, but once he targets me, he spawns the mob. And then when I kill the mob, there we go, I get custom drops. Uh, these two drops here. Um, so how this works is it um, it uses that, that dummy NPC type thing just as a controller. Um, so once it targets the player, it makes itself invisible and non-interactable, and then it spawns the mob of interest. And then um, I'll showcase the Oz one here. There we go. It already spawned the mob. That was the spawn egg, my bad. Actually, let me just get rid of this guy the easy way. There we go. Okay. Alright. Um, so I'm going to do it with the crystal here. There we go. See, there's the controller. And then I'll just see. You can still see the controller there. Now, what he's doing is he's monitoring the status of the mob here. And once this mob dies, the controller is going to give you its custom item drops and then start the respawn timer to respawn the mob. Um, so, yeah, um, that's how it works. Um, things you can customize is um, you can edit uh, the health, you'll have to edit in the config for the mob. You can edit the aggro range, so how far you want the mob to activate. Um, you can edit the custom drops. Um, and then you could even give it something like a. Um, like a wandering or a moving path type thing. Um, and then yeah, that's, uh, that's the script.